Oh my god, I did not realize how terrible my hair is today. Apologies. Hello everyone, I'm Dimitri with Hero Canucks. Welcome to another behind the scenes. Behind me, these two boxes would be the largest case that I would have ever worked with and built. And I'm pretty sure it comes disassembled. So now let's unpack it and put it together. And look, just for reference, these two boxes occupy almost half my office. I had to invite over a friend to help me bring the big box because that's incredibly heavy because the whole enclosure is steel. All right, we're gonna do the big one first. Whenever you are unboxing stuff, always cut away from you, never towards you. Seriously, it's like unboxing a fridge. Time for the second box to get clean. Oh, I really wish there would be an easier way to do this. And as I expected, everything here inside the main box would be disassembled and it looks like it's well protected. Hopefully the instructions are nice and simple. Okay, the one weird thing that I have to share with you guys is all this packaging material. It smells really weird. I'm gonna toss it out before... I don't know what's gonna happen. And so, the user manual, nicely visible. It seems to be fairly large, but to be honest, I'm fairly excited to build a system on this side of the case, and then here, and see what I can do, populate in the pedal stool. Ah, that sound, man. Check this out. Everything is packaged in its own plastic and very well protected versus uh, each other. Little pockets and stuff here. Good stuff. My god, look at this uh, parts list. It's kind of like Lego. Step by step instructions. I like it. I've never worked with such a large enclosure before. It's like a fridge. It's like a mini fridge. I want to build it so that I can have an extra surface to put stuff on the left side of my desk. Sue me. Obviously, he's going to have a system inside. What are, you, what are you guys kidding me? There we go. Complete 15 pages of instructions to build the thing. Not bad. Let's begin. Okay, so just as a question, a little uh, thing for the comments. How many hours do you think it will take me to build this thing? Leave me your comments down below. And then in the end of this episode, I will reveal how long it took me. So I think I found the accessory box or the bag with all the screws. Um, I don't even know where to begin. I guess unpacking everything, more packaging. Uh, this repackaging. Look at one more tray. Not bad, it's steel. There's some flex, but like it's a pretty large piece. Ooh, this is the side panel. There we go. Jesus, look at this thing. It's giant. Okay, let's, let's see how much flex there is. What? What? This panel has less flex than the steel one I just showed you guys. The, the piece of actual whatever material here is really thick, reinforces the entire thing. I'm trying to not to disperse all the parts too much. So I'm gonna have dedicated screws and all the accessories in this corner to the left of the so side panel. Okay, so I was just going to build the system on camera for you guys, uh, sort of behind the scenes styles, but I realized that I need shots of all the parts that come with the case. So all that behind me that's currently lying on the floor and I need to shoot at least like five or 10 shots of me holding the parts because I'll integrate that into the actual full review. I know where I have to be. So that's my, my cue. I have to be sort of like this. In front of the camera, there's the microphone here right now. 
and there's the focus plane which is right here I'll have like a nice quick cuts of me changing the, the parts that I'm holding so so I just started recording on the GH4 it's right outside of the frame here and uh, let's begin so that's done ah, the side panels these are gigantic So as I move away and trying to get more parts, one of my feet always stays in the same spot. So that at least I have at least a bit of a reference so that when I'm doing jump cuts on the main camera, I, I can be in a fairly similar position every single time. So that there isn't too much movement happening, just the parts changing as I'm holding them. All right, last shot. All right, all the parts are finished. Moving on to the build itself. A little guitar break. Before we move on, I sack by the way. So the assembly so far is coming along very well. I'm shooting a little time lapse on the main camera and check this out. Now that thing is gigantic. Like I'm here to scale. I I wish I had a wider lens, but like see this? Like it's it's bigger than my body. It's coming together almost uh, almost without any hiccups. The instructions manual is okay. It's nothing super special, but I wish that uh, the diagrams were better. Um, but it's not a big uh, mess around here. I mean, I have the, the main case. I have all the packaging material that I have to deal with. But so far, I'm quite impressed at how easy it has been to assemble this thing. And it's very solid. Can't wait to put two systems in there together. My, my only concern here would be, what do I do so it's cool? You know, this would be the first of its kind for us doing two systems in, in a giant case like this and obviously this has been targeted for water cooling because it has so much space for radiators and fans and stuff I don't have much water cooling stuff but I do have a lot of fans so maybe we'll do something cool with airflow to figure out what, what the hell's going on but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes I'm gonna go back to finishing the build and then finishing the or starting to film the actual review for this one so make sure to check it out there'll be a link in the description below uh, or by the time you're watching this it will not be ready yet but it will be ready at some point but i hope you guys enjoy this i'm dimitri with the Canux. this is the biggest case that i've ever worked with and uh, we'll see you in the next video